my name is Dion Rodriguez. Uh, I'm basketball club president, and this is our event, Buckets and Bricks. We've been planning it for over two months now. Uh, it's finally come to fruition after we got it approved by Principal Sir Bakshi and the rest of the uh, student council, and also yeah, the main council basically. Um, so we just plan to have it on 12th and 13th, uh, 12th and 13th, which we are on schedule. So. Uh, we just have a much we have a merchandise stall and we have a bunch of basketball related games testing out more basketball skills. We also made it very student friendly, so it's not it's for the average uh, students, not just for athletes. So anyone can play it and have fun. We have this event mainly to um, enrich the basketball culture. There's not much of a basketball culture here in Chogli, so we're trying to like get uh, more people hyped, interested in sport. And also to raise some money for the club, we've not we uh, we are just uh, running the club by ourselves as all students. We do not have any uh, like we don't have any cash coming in to us. So we just had to uh, think of a way to earn some quick cash, and this was the best way to do it. And also, you know, get students actually uh, watching the sport because our basketball court is like pretty far, and no one really goes there. So no one really has an opportunity to watch the sport actually happen. So uh, we just start of giving people a snippet of what basketball is like. So we're just gonna have just uh, people have fun while just in the main point is just having fun while doing it. We don't want to scare people away by the complexities of the game. Basketball is a game of many rules and uh, rules and regulations, which make it a very scary game for some. So uh, we just. Uh, we are having the merchandise store also just to you know it's a lot of basketball related stuff we've collaborated with the anime club and we collaborated with the crafters club this is just to uh, this is just to mix up the cl these two clubs are new relatively new so we just and we are all friends so we just thought of connecting our networks and making it a big web so we are trying to put all three clubs on the map so all these three clubs have like uh, you know, just since they're just starting out, so we need some momentum. So we just thought of having this event, and uh, the merchandise uh, stall will be having some Valentine's Day stuff since uh, 14th is just like two days away. Uh, some anime stuff. There's a lot of basketball stuff coming up as well, and you can see a lot of people working here. We about to start. We kept some free games just to like you know get people trying. It's, this one is more to measure the jump, the vertical of a player of a person. Uh, and uh, another game, other games are just testing. We have three games testing shooting ability, one game testing passing ability, another game testing just uh, your dribbling skill and how you, how you, uh, how your, how uh, strong is your logic and your reasoning. Uh, another game is, um, yeah, another uh, yeah. So two games of passing. Yeah, yeah. So and. The last one is basically that's a surprise one, so I can't let, let off more. Can't describe it also; it's a bit complicated. So if you just want to like see these games happen, like I think most or all of the students are going to be having it. I mean, be able to see it because it's right outside the canteen. It's like impossible to miss both the merchandise stall and the games. So if you like miss these two days, I suggest you go on the website and check it out because all our stuff's going to be there. Uh, yeah, you can. Um, me and uh, Jolliver Fernandez, he is an ex-student right now. He was there for, he did his PG here and he did his three years also here for BA uh, in geography. He was, yeah, so he was the club president two years ago and uh, we just thought of this idea but it never got to happening because we had to get a lot of permissions and a lot of things uh, we had to go through this year so I started planning really early. So we both thought of it and the games are more of a collective thing which uh, the club thought of. Uh, merchandise stall was m my idea because I just wanted there to be just more than just games. Yeah. So what's the significance of the title Buckets and Bricks? Uh, buckets basically basketball means the shots you make, the shots you score. Bricks are the shots you miss. So we just thought of having, having it. So it's like a, we played around the name a little bit. Event, uh, initially we had to start a basketball day but then we just wanted to give a nice kick to it so we just like uh, came up with uh, Is this event dedicated to someone? Uh, initially it wasn't but recently uh, with the death of uh, basketball legend Kobe Bryant so uh, we just ha thought of having a memorial for him on 13th so uh, we will just keep uh, we will just be painting a poster of him and uh, just decorating the a small part of the stall for Kobe and uh, all, even though not a lot of people know him, our club is just get uh, full of beginners mostly. So and we are getting to know a lot of great players. 
me for like I for one was is a big, uh, like I'm a big fan of Kobe's and his game has just revolutionized basketball. So he's brought a lot of new factors to just his game is just all like all inspiring and uh, his story also. He watches film Dear basketball. He shot film Dear basketball, which won uh, I don't know how many awards. It's won. It's pretty great and. So uh, I think uh, he has revolutionized the game so much that we kind of owed him some. We, we owe him a lot actually. So we just thought this is the least we can do. And yeah, uh, next year we're thinking of having a full out, you know, uh, tribute to him. But this year it's just kind of a smaller thing since we couldn't do much on short notice. But we will do our best. Thank you, Dion. Yep. Thank you to Ransel for holding the questions. Success started out really slow though, because everyone was either too shy to try out. Even even when they didn't know that they were, we were giving out a coupon, giving out coupons, and they had to pay for these games. Most of the people were shy, didn't know what's happening. And then once we put up posters for the games, and they went to the merchandise stall, and the people at the merchandise stall from our club informed them that they are games. Then they just uh, started coming to that place, didn't really take part. Then we made few of our club members themselves play, you know, to kind of normalize it and like make it less weird to take part. And then later on, a uh, few of our friends came first, and then later uh, people just saw that there's a crowd, and then they started coming too. Uh, we started out with just the game Moneyball first, and then we went on to Dizzy Shots and Dimes. After Dimes, we started doing Hot Potato. That really picked up steam. We had like total of four games yesterday, I think so, right? How many games did we play yesterday? So we played four, total of four games and today we'll be doing another three or two along with the games from yesterday. So we're trying to get more crowd today by like, we also went out to the crowd and pulled out random people. We were like, hey, come try, come try the game. So we'll be doing that today from the get-go and also they know, today we'll, we are expecting more success because a lot of people already know the games and saw that we were playing it. So. Um, yeah. So, uh, what's new for today? Uh, the new games? Could you tell us the name of the uh, games? We're playing Wheel of Chaos. It's basically it's a passing game. Uh, we also will be doing Spinneroo today, which is a, a spinning the ball challenge. 
prime, it's an open challenge to anyone. So how long they can spin the ball, and also elevate where they test how high they can jump. We set up their parapets and everything. And yeah, that's what we have planned today. A merchandise stall had a huge success yesterday, so a lot of things got sold out. And we still have a lot left, and a few new things came in just today. Uh, we are hoping to sell that off as well. And yeah, we were surprised by what got sold off yesterday. You can name a few items which got sold off, which are highly sold uh, Keychains, not surprising. Keychains got sold off a lot. A uh, few flowers got sold off. Um, dream catchers, all, almost all dream catchers got sold off. Uh, one cactus pot and uh, oh, many bookmarks got sold off and some few anime stickers. Uh, yeah, and a lot of people came to know about the anime club. So one really, uh, they were like, oh, there's an anime club. So we were like, yes, there is. And uh, so they, because they were asking who made the stickers, and we were like, oh, people from the anime club made the stickers. So I think, uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of that got sold off. And today we're having a funny TV stand also. So uh, it's fun. Uh, one of our own club members is making it. So that will be an addition we didn't have yesterday. And yeah, so yesterday we documented almost all of our games. We had the, for the games. I don't know how many we had at least. How many people took part? At least 50. 50 people in the games. We didn't really keep track of it. There was too much going on at home at a time we had a little trouble with organization because it's the first time we're doing this and we, did, we weren't really uh, equipped because there were a lot of people going in and out of lectures we have a lot of shifts other than that i would say it was success mostly more than more than troubles we faced we had a lot of success yeah. thank you dion
experience uh, playing this it was a great experience i like basketball so although i don't have the height for it i think i did okay so i, I would encourage others to join and play the game and, and help raise the raise money for the basketball team say anything for ray yeah he, he's been a very good sport uh, hopefully we'll play again and then we'll see who's better yes so Nice. Then leave the stick. Leave the stick. Take the. <laughs> oh! Be careful. Anybody has water? <laughs> 